Convocation is now in session. As Chancellor, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our 311th Convocation. Before we proceed with the ceremony, I would like to call upon Dr. Angie Mandwich to present Western University's land acknowledgement. Good morning. Western University is situated on the traditional territories of the Anishinaabe, Haudenosaunee, Lenape, and Attawandrans people, who've had a long-standing relationship to the land and region of southwestern Ontario and the city of London. The local First Nations communities of this area include Chippewa of the Thames First Nation, Oneida Nation of the Thames, Muncie Delaware Nation. In this region, there are 11 First Nation communities and a growing Indigenous urban population. Western values the significant historical and contemporary contributions of local and regional First Nations and of all the original people of Turtle Island. Miigwech. To all our graduates, first let me say congratulations. You've worked hard to achieve this. Graduation represents a major milestone in your lives. At Convocation, we assemble as a university community to celebrate and recognize your achievements at Western and to wish you every success for the future. Your learning days are far from over. Learning is a lifelong process. Western has not provided you with answers to all questions. At most, we hope that what stays with you is a way of thinking objectively, approaching problems with an open mind and a healthy respect for new ideas, all tempered with compassion and empathy for the human condition. You are forever a cherished member of this great university, founded more than a century ago. We welcome you into the Western family. Again, congratulations to each and every one of you. Today, we also confer an honorary degree upon Donald Triggs, an acknowledgement of his accomplishments as a visionary businessman and a vintner who has transformed the Canadian wine industry on a national and international scale. As one of Western's most prominent and active alumni of the Ivy School of Business, both on a personal and professional level, he embodies the qualities that Western seeks to instill and cultivate in its graduates. To present our distinguished candidate, I now call upon Dr. Paul Beamish, Richard Ivey School of Business. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Donald Triggs. Donald Triggs is a visionary businessman and vintner who has transformed the Canadian wine industry on both the national and international stage through his leadership, innovation, and big picture thinking. For those of us who started university in the early 1970s, the quality of most Ontario and Canadian wines then was, in a word, awful. <laughs> the native Labrusca grape found here and along the eastern part of North America was great for making grape jelly, but not as the basis for quality wine. As a result, most Canadians relied on wines from the old world countries of Europe, such as Italy, France, and Spain, or on the wines from so-called New World locales like Australia, South Africa, Chile, and California. By 1989, the Canadian wine industry was still struggling to remain viable, and many in the industry concluded that there was no future to winemaking in Canada. Don Triggs, however, saw opportunity and pooled his money together with a business partner to purchase a failing wine business. Don was confident that with the right viticulture practices and winemaking technology, it would be possible to produce world-class wines here in Canada. Don and his wife Elaine purchased a 100-acre orchard in Niagara-on-the-Lake 
1998 and converted it into a vineyard using it as a research project that ran all the way through to 2006 and explored effective viticulture techniques for growing high quality grapes in the Niagara Peninsula. Viticulture or grape growing involves a complex interaction based on soil type, sunlight, temperature, and water supply. When coupled with enology, the science and study of wines and winemaking, it requires detailed research and experimentation to produce a quality product, far more than most consumers appreciate. And like any active, research active university professor, Don Triggs understood the need for such knowledge. The company that he co-founded in 1989, Jackson Triggs, went on to become the most powerful wine brand in Canada. Many varietals were introduced. The quality of wines grew rapidly. Renamed Vincor International, it went through a series of strategic mergers and acquisitions and was publicly traded on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Don understood that to have real impact, both high quality products and scale was necessary. At the time of its acquisition by Constellation Brands in 2006, and in a global industry with many thousands of wine producers, Vincor was the 14th largest wine producer in the world. Following the acquisition of Vincor, Don continued to follow his entrepreneurial passion in the wine business, so he and Elaine founded Culmina Family Real Estate Winery in South Okanagan, British Columbia. Later joined by their daughter Sarah, the new state-of-the-art winery was completed in early 2013. I've been a business professor in this country for over 35 years, and I would be hard-pressed to name even a handful of people who have transformed an entire industry in Canada for the better. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of the Vice Chancellor and in the name of the Senate, I ask you to confer the degree of Doctor of Laws honoris causa upon Donald Triggs. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Laws honoris causa. Congratulations, Dr. Triggs. Well done. Dinner tonight. We'll have some more. On behalf of all assembled here today, I should now like to invite our newest alumnus, Dr. Donald Triggs, to address convocation. Thank you, Chancellor Cowan, President Shackma, Dr. Paul Beamish, faculty members, graduates, and distinguished guests. Paul, thank you for those very generous comments. The case of wine is on the way. <laughs> I would like to open by saying how humbled I am to receive this great honor. Paul, I am deeply honored to receive this introduction from you, having seen firsthand the incredible contribution you have made to the global marketing and business community. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think this might happen to me. I gratefully accept 
the Doctor of Laws degree on behalf of the many extraordinary people who have touched my life in so many positive ways. My immediate thoughts go back to my parents and family. My late mother, Margaret, inspired me to believe in myself, to chase my dreams, as she said. One of her favorite sayings was, and I'll never forget it because I heard it many times, Kant is a coward, too lazy to try. My late father, Jack, brought discipline, hard work, and the motto that if a job is worth doing, it is worth doing well. I appreciate his high standards and integrity more every day. I would also like to mention a few of the many teachers who have left an indelible mark on my life. Starting with high school, Mrs. Sanderson, who gave a farm boy a love of poetry and the arts, to Fred Wilson, my soil science professor who actually made dirt interesting, <laughs> to, pro to Professor Don Thane, who relentlessly challenged us to think like the CEO, and to Professors Nick Fry and David Layton, who inspired me to pursue a career in marketing. These are to name but a few. Thank you. Speaking to you today has to be one of the most challenging assignments in my life. My first thought, what could I possibly say that would be of interest to the young, freshly minted social science and humanity graduates at Western? As I thought about it, I resolved that my advice would not suffer the same fate as it has apparently met in the past. According to one of my daughters, I don't have to worry about my advice going in one ear and out the other because she says it won't go in in the first place. <laughs> so, so after approaching the hot after searching for high and lows, for high and low, for special pearls of wisdom, I came to the conclusion that maybe the best thing I could do would be share with you some of my memories of my life to this point and what they have meant to me. I was raised on a mixed grain and cattle farm in rural Manitoba. I went to a one-room country schoolhouse for grades one to eight. I guess you could say that it took me eight years to get out of my first classroom. <laughs> Early life was focused on school and lots of chores around the farm. I have an identical twin brother who was and still is my best friend. Both of us were extremely proud to be the sons of Jack Triggs, one of the more progressive farmers in the area. He had a reputation for being an excellent farmer with high integrity, a strong work ethic, and an even stronger commitment to the community. Throughout high school, my brother and I were both focused on farming when we graduated. Indeed, we were looking forward to building the small family farm into an even more successful enterprise. As it happened, this was not to be. My father was in partnership with his brother, who unfortunately developed very poor health. At a family meeting, we decided that one of us, either my brother or myself, had to leave home and seek a career outside the farm. As neither of us wanted to leave, my father took two matches of different lengths and we each drew. I got the short straw. I lost, or so I thought. Some money I'd saved from odd jobs through high school was just enough for tuition, which you will find interesting. Tuition that year was $325. <laughs> and together with scholarships and bursaries, I was able to see my way into enrolling at the University of Manitoba Bachelor of Science in Agriculture program. I share this rather personal story with you to make a point. Even though life may deal you with you surprises and now and then the odd nasty curveball, what looks like a nasty curveball could in fact be the best pitch you've ever seen. You have to get in the batter's box, 
You have to play it to find out. We graduated in an era of multiple job opportunities for every graduate. Many of us had the luxury of choosing between several options in the agricultural industry. While offered an NRC scholarship to do a master's in economics, I chose acceptance to the MBA program at Western, now the Ivy School of Business, even though there was no financial support. While I'd left the family farm, I still was hanging on to the idea of someday having my own family business. I chose the MBA because I thought it would prepare me for what I really wanted to do in the long term. And I was very fortunate that my new bride was able to obtain a teaching job at Brescia College to pull her hubby through. I, I would also like to recognize and, and thank my three daughters, Andrea, Katie, and Sarah. You have all been a source of zesty, vibrant inspiration, advice, and support. To you, my wife Elaine, you have a big chunk of this. You are central to everything that I have achieved. Words fail me when I try to describe how blessed I have been to have had you as my wife and partner for the last 52 years. I am so proud to share this recognition with you. Pursuing a career in the Canadian wine industry was not high on the charts of the most aspiring marketing or financial entrepreneurs in the 1960s. At that time, the industry was known for producing substandard wines, as Dr. Bemis had said, and losing market share to imports. Paraphrasing the words of John F. Kennedy, it was not about what was, but about what it could be. With a plan to convert the vineyards to market, more market desirable varieties, with a plan to introduce world-class winemaking technology, with a merger and acquisition strategy to develop competitive world-class economies of scale, and with a global executive recruiting program, Jackson Triggs and ultimately Vincor International was born. An LBO of Labatt's unwanted Canadian wine business was quarterbacked by 26 employee partners in 1989 to become Vincor, which by 2016 had grown into the fourth largest winery in North America with 2,250 employees on five continents, annual turnover of over $650 million, and an operating profit per year of just shy of $100 million. I share and celebrated this with our founding partners, most notably Alan Jackson, Richard Jones, Roger Provo and the late Bob Luba. So what? This dramatic change in the Canadian in wine industry was in fact a major disruption in the industry at that time. Success came at a price. Inefficient wineries making inferior, inferior products were sold. Vineyards replanted and new technology was brought to bear. This brings me to an important point. Today we see disruptive forces creating major change in many industries, whether it be the internet, technology, or climate driven. While these changes are creating added value to our standard of living as a whole, we are at risk of many people being left behind. As industries and their outdated technologies are abandoned. We need to safeguard that Canadians, Canada and our business community have the training and redevelopment programs in place to ensure that those impacted can bounce back on their feet in the new paradigm. We need to be vigilant so that all citizens share in our prosperity. I cannot help but raise a few issues about the Canadian wine industry, given that it is so dear to my heart. The wine industry is and will continue to be one of the first industries to be impacted by climate warming. As citizens of this planet, 
And as David Suzuki has so passionately articulated, we all share a very real concern over the long-term effects of global warming. But as grape farmers, we are doubly concerned about the impact of change in the weather on our vineyards and on the final wine. There is some good news. The wine industry in Canada is increasingly at the forefront of developing renewable, sustainable technologies and, wherever possible, organic agricultural solutions. Coleman of Family Estate Winery, on which we started development in 2007, is no exception. At this point in time, Coleman does not use insecticides, pesticides, or herbicides. We are doing this not only as custodians of the land for our grandchildren, and hopefully their grandchildren, but also in the hope that our wines will better express the unique character of the terroir. We appreciate the opportunity to be a pioneer member of Salmon Safe, a program which safeguards the watershed and results in spawning beds of the salmon in the Okanagan River. The spawning in the Okanagan River has grown from about 1,000 fish uh, 12 years ago to just over 100,000 last year. While Kalmana is pursuing sustainability programs such as electric cars and organic farming, we are only scratching the surface of what has to be done. We need to do much more if we are able to be successful in reversing the trend to global warming. While our universities and research institutions can, can and will clearly assist, we, in every, we need every one of you, every consumer, to continue to contribute. I would now like to change gears a bit and talk to you on a more personal level. You are going out in the, into the world that is evolving and changing at a rapid rate. You are about to graduate with skills from one of the finest universities in Canada. Skills in communication, planning, technology, and problem solving that you have developed at the University of Western Ontario will hold you in good stead. Perhaps I could share some principles that I've, I have found invaluable to me along my journey. Pick people that you can learn from. You will learn more from one really talented person than from ten that are just going through the motions. Find uh, these people, search them out, find ways to work with them or for them. You have heard many say that you learn more by listening than by talking. I would take it one step further and say you learn even more by asking questions. Lots of questions, even when they seem, some of them seem a little dumb at the time. Think big and small at the same time. By this I mean that it's important to always have a bigger vision of what you are really trying to do in the long term. Even though this is often at odds and fights for your time as you're trying very hard to manage the day-to-day -day detail in your job. As you approach it, all facets of your life, try to set your standards at the highest level. Ask yourself, is this what a global leader would do? Whether, it be, whether you're talking about, for example, an ethical issue or a customer service issue, if you start by setting high standards on every individual decision, the road to excellence becomes an easy one. Do not be afraid to make mistakes. Ex experience is manufactured from the learning we get by making mistakes. The more you manufacture, the smarter and wiser you become. Protect your integrity. No one else will do that for you. I can still hear my grandmother saying, your reputation is like the linen. It is so easy to soil and stain, it is impossible to get clean. It is all about the people. By developing and supporting your large cadre of relationships, you have a strong base on which to grow. And most importantly, don't hog the success. 
share the credit with your team members. It will come back to you 10 times over. In closing, as a graduate of this fine university, you are already a winner. Be brave. Stand up to those who might suggest that you are reaching too high, or to those who tell you it cannot be done. Follow your passion. Your DNA knows where you, where you are world class. You only have to pursue it with passion. It is clear that we are indeed very fortunate to live and work in this fabulous country of Canada. Invest in it. Invest in your continuing education. Invest in your alma mater. Invest in your community and in your family. And above all else, invest in this socially tolerant, democratic country that we're all so proud of. Thank you. Thank you, Don for sharing lessons from your life's journey and for your inspiring address. As an award-winning Canadian vendor and business pioneer, you have inspired generations of young people, pioneering new businesses that may be the next Jackson Triggs. We are pleased to recognize your many contributions to winemaking and entrepreneurship across our country, as well as your many philanthropic endeavors. Distinguished guests, Please join me in congratulating Western's newest Honorary Doctor of Laws, Dr. Donald Triggs. At this time, I take pleasure in asking the Vice Chancellor to present a distinguished colleague who is a recipient of the Edward G. Pleva Award for Excellence in Teaching. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. The Edward G. Pleva Award for Excellence in Teaching was established in 1987. Each year, the Pleva Award recognizes four full-time faculty members whose outstanding contributions to teaching have earned them numerous awards and wide renown. Will Dr. Lisa Hodges please step forward? Dr. Le Lisa Hodges' teaching philosophy states, quote, we learn best by doing, end of quote. Our courses in the Department of Anthropology illustrate this drive for active learning. She brings the field into the classroom with teaching innovations that range from blogs, YouTube videos, and board games to 3D prints, and virtual reality viewers. She creates an interactive learning environment and provides opportunities for hands-on activities and experiential learning. Lisa recently redesigned the Graduate Professional Development course to enhance learning opportunities and provide students with concrete outputs to further their careers. Beyond the Western classroom, Lisa is a passionate advocate for archaeology locally as she works with high school students in London and nationally with Inuvialuit youth in the Northwest Territories. Lisa's commitment to teaching and research makes her a role model for students and colleagues alike. Mr. Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present to you Dr. Lisa Hodges, recipient of the Edward G. Pleva Award for Excellence in Teaching. Pleasure the Vice Chancellor to present to convocation our newly appointed Distinguished University Professor Emerita and Emeritus Professors. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. The designation of Professor Emerita and Professor Emeritus is an honorary title which recognizes long and distinguished academic service. 
Will Dr. Anton Alahar please step forward? Dr. Aller has been a faculty member in the Department of Sociology at Western since 1984. He's an award-winning teacher and researcher. As a researcher, he has examined economic development, the politics of globalization and democracy, and ethnic and racial relations in the context of the Caribbean and Latin America. In recognition of his research excellence, he was awarded a Lifetime Achievement Award by the Caribbean Studies Association in 2014, as well as several other honors. Dr. Alahar has also distinguished himself as a teacher, teaching dozens of courses to his students here at Western, as well as in Barbados, Jamaica, Russia, and Cuba. He has won numerous awards, including a PLEVA, several USC awards, a 3M award, and was a finalist in TV Ontario's best lecturer competition. During his career, Dr. Alahar has challenged and inspired generations of students and colleagues at Western and abroad. Mr. Chancellor, may I present to you Professor Emeritus Anton Alahar. Will Dr. Ragnar Darnell please step forward? Dr. Darnell joined the Department of Anthropology at Western in 1990, having already achieved the rank of professor at the University of Alberta, where she taught for two decades. At Western, she became director of the Center for Research and Teaching of Canadian Native Languages in 1992, and was the founding director of Western's First Nation Studies program from 2003 to 2006. Dr. Darnall also contributed to many other programs at Western through affiliations or cross appointments in women's studies and feminist research, the Center for the Study of Theory and Criticism, and the Schulich Faculty of Medicine and Dentistry's Ecosystem Health Program and Masters of Public Health. Dr. Daniel has published widely and her research achievements have been recognized through many awards, including fellowship in the Royal Society of Canada, the Helmut Award for Excellence in Research, the Distinguished University Professorship Award, a Killam Research Fellowship, and a Premier's Distinction Award for the social sciences and humanities. She chaired the American Anthropological Association Centennial Executive and Advisory Commissions and served twice as president of the University of Western Ontario Faculty Association. Currently, Dr. Denal is project director and general editor for a seven-year Shirk Partnership Grant project called Friend Boas Papers documentary edition, end of quote. And she'll be continuing her work on the project in the coming years. Mr. Chancellor, may I present to you distinguished university professor Emerita Regner Darnell. Will Dr. James Olson please step forward? Dr. Olson has worked in the Department of Psychology at Western for 40 years. He is a world-renowned social psychologist, best known for his work in the areas of attitudes and persuasion and social cognition. He has published over 140 articles, chapters, and books and served as an editor on leading scholarly journals and serials. 
In addition to a prolific research career, Dr. Olson has been dedicated in his service to Western and the Department of Psychology, which he chaired from 1998 to 2003. He has also been an award-winning teacher with outstanding student evaluations in his undergraduate courses and a string of PhD students who have themselves gone on to highly productive academic careers. Dr. Olson exemplifies academic leadership through sustained high-impact research and exceptional teaching and service. Mr. Pr Chancellor, may I present Professor Emeritus James Olson. The candidates for degrees, diplomas, and certificates, please rise. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, I'm very much honored to present to you the candidates who have successfully completed their academic programs at Western. I ask you to admit them to the degrees, diplomas, and certificates for which they have been recommended by the Senate of our university. Under the authority vested in me by the Senate, you will be admitted to the degrees, diplomas, and certificates as shall be announced by the public orators. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Will the candidates please be seated? Mr. Chancellor, graduating students, colleagues, distinguished guests, convocation is the single most important time of celebration in the life of the university. Today we honor those graduating students who through determination, hard work, and intelligence have met the demanding standards of a Western degree. Today is also a proud day for all of us associated with Western including our Board of Governors and Senate, our faculty, our staff, and our friends in the community. It is wonderful to see so many members of our community of learning who have taken the time to join us and celebrate this important day in the lives of our graduates and the university. Today, those of you crossing the platform join a special group known as Western Alumni that numbers more than 290,000 alumni living in over 150 different countries around the world. We are pleased to have Mr. Robert Collins, a former president of our Alumni Association, with us today, and I'll ask him to please stand and be recognized. Weston's Board of Governors is charged with responsibility for the overall governance of this institution. Today we have with us Dr. Jane Toswell, representing our Board of Governors, and I'll ask her to please stand and be recognized. <clears throat> I'd also like to acknowledge and thank the parents, spouses, partners, children, relatives, and friends of our graduates who are here today. This celebration would not have been possible without your lobbying support. I ask our graduating class to rise once again, turn around, face your family and friends, and give them a warm round of applause for supporting your journey. Now let me congratulate once again remarkable students who graduate today with Western degrees. Today you become partners in outstanding academic achievements of the University of Western Ontario. My warmest wishes to each and every one of you. Now we'll proceed with the granting of degrees and diplomas. 
Before we do so, I have two special requests for those of you in the audience. First, as a courtesy to all graduates and their families, please hold your applause until the public auditor signal when applause is appropriate throughout the ceremony. So public auditors will be standing to my left, to your right on the stage, and please follow their lead. This will ensure that each graduate's name will be heard. Second, we know that photographs are important for graduates, their families, and friends. As you have heard before the ceremony began, we are pleased to provide each graduate with a photo of this special occasion. Therefore, we ask that you remain in your seats throughout the ceremony, and of course, feel free to take pictures from there. I now call on the public auditors to introduce the candidates for degrees. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates from the School of Graduate and Postdoctoral Studies for the degree Doctor of Philosophy. Ezra Ari. William Michael Carter. Allison Cordoba. Ryan Flavel. <laughs> Kenny E. Krista McPherson. Shanika Anna K. McFarlane Morris. Hmm. 
Shannon Katie Mishler. Jordan Munizzi. Tram Nguyen. Georgi Orlov. Luis Francisco Silva Jimenez. Cindy Smithers Graham. Caroline Galloway Strang. Matthew Adam Teeter. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Master of Arts. John Dunlop, Abdullah Majid, Kavita Devi Mitun. Gwen Winglom Ang, Rebecca Janine Perry, Catherine Margaret Montgomery Wilson. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Master of Financial Economics. John Adamson, Isokin Bibele Akpata, Pierre Axel Christophe Marie Gide. Image. 
Sandra Kagongo, Mira Krunchik, Krunich, sorry, Stephanie Ott. Matthew Roger Willett, Mari Daniel Rubin, Abbas Salimi. Hazel Chiamaka Uzoho, Yujing Ji, Jiking Zhu. R.T. Grace Safiru, Jin Wen Zhao. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Master of Public Administration. Sarah Jane Corman, D. Amelia J. Humphreys, Stephanie Tara Mackenzie Smith. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor. The following are candidates for the degree Master of Science. Rebecca Factor, Jeremy Peter Grimstead, Craig Ernest Irwin. Christina Politas, Suzanne Tillman. Um, this is, this should be for me. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates from the Faculty of Social Science for the degree Bachelor of Arts Honors Programs. Caitlin Marie Abma, Aislinn Baines Adams, Carly Hannah Adams. Mirabel Akbari, Nakasuk Alariak, Robin Grace Alexander. Adel Al Kwasmi. Daria Alton, Lushwana Travona Anderson Stewart. Nicoletta Andriachi, Andrew Harrison Armstrong, 
Isabel Sarah Arthurs. Matthew Atkinson, Andrew Lockhey Aoyoung, Andrada Luisa Balanian. James Balash, Cassandra Jean Bald, Taylor Jean Ball. Abilene Cower Banwait, Jessica Elizabeth Beasley, Nachman Nathaniel Belmont. Gold medalist. That middle one is Rattnica. Leah Burson Weinberg, Rohit Bahnagar, Megan Audrey Billings. Yasmin Binet, Misha Bauer, Maala Alela Blackwood. <laughs> Alexa Brand, Adil Brawley. Brittany Lee Brown. Michael Taylor Brown, Stuart Thomas Brown, Carly Ann Bruckner. Fiona Elizabeth Burnett, Connor David Byrne, Caitlin Campbell. <laughs> Jessica Morgan Carswell. Madeline Elizabeth Carswell, Daniela, Daniela Catherine Suarez. <laughs> Tiffany Yehan Chang, Megan Marie Chant, Christian Chatham. Derek Alexander Chuuk, Benjamin Suyang Chan, Olivia Levicki.
Yong Hung Choi, gold medalist. Kelvin Kahang Choi, Mackenzie James Claggett. Chelsea Page Clifford, Addison John Kober, Patrick Colhoun, gold medalist. <laughs> Monique Corral, Brittany Diane Cox, Isaac Frank Crawford Ritchie. Laura Christine Cullen, Allison Maeve Curtis, Afroza Damji. Nicholas Austin Dang, Colleen Amanda Davis, Kristen Noel Dawson. Michael DeMarkey, Julian Mohammed Donovan, Jessica Valerie Everts. Ashley Jean Finkbinder, Hannah Folds, Allison Irene Fox. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a large degree group. Let's take advantage of the change of orators to give a round of applause to those who've already crossed the stage. Sabrina Fricassi, Chantal Wendy Marie Franzur, Alexandria Socha Gastman. Devin Todd Scott Garland, Anisha Tanana Gautam. Carrie Anna Gillespie. Alexander William Defer Glista. Abinaya Nyana Shaker. Kayla Gola Lasan. Marco Gombach, Ainsley Gonder, gold medalist. Timothy Ajay Gopal. Dorit Davida Greenspan, Jonathan Blake Gross, Laura Ann Guberney.
Allison Vale Gunstone, Shihan Tiffany Guo, Alexandra Hassan. Fatima Ahmad Hamam, Selena Crystal Habib, Michaela Morgan Harrison. Dessa Lucy Hayes, Aaron Hiver, Emily Elizabeth Hillard. Wincy Wing Young Ho, Emma Howell, Lindsay Alexandra Elizabeth Houston. Jacob Dean Hutchcroft, Megan Irons, Anuj Akshay Jain. Sarah Jassim, Abby Lee Jaychuk, Olivia Charlotte Johnson. Ryan Thomas Aaron Johnson, Andrew Thomas Johnston, Zachary Joseph Johnston. <laughs> Frank Anthony Keeper, Nicole Louise Kennedy, Rayanne Khalif. Lily Sophia Kindrachuk, Tanika Renee Kippers, Tamara Klakich. Summer Alexia Knight, Myra Elise Wagang Kohler. Daniel Francois Craker. Brooklyn Chrysalbrink, Megan Mackenzie Kern, Tahir Dean Lechporia. Carson James Edward Lamb, Jessica Lammert, Dean Levy. Sarah Isabel Lawson, gold medalist. Sarah Jane Lawson. Shoshana Michelle Leibovitz. Jessica Ying Li, Yuana Wai Sum Li, Shanice Violet Alexa Levy.
Ming Yue Li, Yichuan Li, Yuzhuan Liu. Manisha Logan, Jessica Lupus, Liam Mark McDonald. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a large group, so let's congratulate the graduates who've already passed. Wait, 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 let me just... Okay. Liam McCrell, Kevin Madden, gold medalist, Brittany Angela Malfara. Roshana Manoharan, Nicole Marr, Kira Catherine Marskell. <laughs> Sophia Martinson, gold medalist. Arlen Eugenie Martin. Pierce Keichi Ma Ma Masuhara. Alexander William MacArthur, Elizabeth Sharon MacArthur, Colin Arthur McDonald. Matthew Joseph James McFarlane, Matthew McIntosh, Tessa Marie McLinden. Nicholas James Miranda, Harold Emery McMaster, Antoinette Dorothy Irene Monardo, gold medalist. Stephanie Joanne Moore, Valeria Mojeko, John Michael Newland. That's okay. Kevin Naguyan, Alyssa Sarah Molko, gold medalist, Alana Nicole Maness. Donna Noah, Anka Laura Oprea, Anita Osmani. Jacqueline Owens, Jayasri Pakirathan, Austin Donald Pamet.
Lauren Paparousis, Owen Parker, Tamar Patolsky. Kelsey Elena Payette, Samantha Ruth Pejic, Luca Petruchevsky. Anthony Shane Pettit, Braden Phillipson, Alana Pink. Samuel Christopher Petrie, Damian Plakoff, Kalina Antonio Postalweight, Brianne Nicole Powell, Mitchell William Pratt, Ada Lovelace Rampersad. Brandon Leslie Row A, Kevin S. Wren, Paige Alexandra, Alexandria Roach. Michael Mus Russell Milling Robson, Emily Jeanette Ross, James David Ross. Nicholas Mark Romanoff, Sydney Rossiter, Anna Christine Sanson, gold medalist. <laughs> Liam John Scanlon, Sterling David Schweitzer, Julia Chanel Sergery. Alafia Shabir, Ryan Shea, Eliza Simon. Amanda Marilyn Simpson, Claire Elizabeth Simpson, Connor Gladstone Smith. Shall we do it one more time? <laughs> Julia Smith, Robert Brendan Smith, Lucas John Sonke. Jonathan Soriano, gold medalist. Duncan Alexander Spilsbury. Drew Joel Daniel Stapley. Emily Stauffer. Benjamin Alexander Steinberg Zwirek, Elori Sterling.
Jessica Stahl, Caitlin Teresa Sullivan, Veronica Sullivan. Sarah Bridget Sutherland, Ernest Moonjing Tam, gold medalist, Janani Anitha Philanathan. <laughs> Ethan Howard Thomas, Samantha Donna Torrens, gold medalist. Leanna Tran. Lucas John Trimstra. Marissa Vaillant. Isabella Vallée. Emily Annie Vandersanden, Scott William Vandersen, Marcelo Vecchio. <laughs> Mackenzie Marie Vaza, Rebecca Olivia Walker, William Hong Han Wang. Yushan Wang. Olivia Joy Ward. Momana Wasim. Melissa Emily Webb Wilkinson, Joseph Raymond White, Ian Michael Wiseman. Robin Gina Wood. Sarah Jane Wyatt, Jiming Zhu, gold medalist. <laughs> Jiaying Yi, Gregory Davis Humans, Irene Yalin Zhang, gold medalist. Alexander Marinus Wilson, Sally Zheng, Jenny Zhu. Ki Zhu. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science Honors Programs. Katie Benita, Zach Isaac Cohen, Manakshi Dubé. Megan Ho Yi Fung, 
Lisa Hartman, Jessica Sarah Jeske. Ian Glenn Russell Jones, Nathan Katz, Yuli Ku. Kashini Krishna, Meredith Ellen Leach, Alexander David Marchand. Leah Bridget Matthew, Micah Otska, Emily Oshana, Diana Samoil, Michael Slipenke, gold medalist, Sophie Warmby. Annie Yang, Michaela Zare. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the Diploma in Public Administration. Elvira Noeli Benilla Temez. Maria Varlocostas. In the name of the Senate, I grant to the Registrar the authority to confer degrees, diplomas, and certificates to those candidates whose names appear in the official program but who are not present today. At this time, I invite Mr. Robert Collins, representing our Alumni Association, to say a few words. Thank you, Chancellor Cowan, President Chakma, honored doctoral recipient, Dr. Triggs, distinguished faculty members, parents, family, and friends. To you, my fellow graduates, it is my great honor on behalf of Western's Alumni Association to congratulate you and welcome you. You've worked hard to complete your studies and examinations, and today you received your well-earned degrees. Weston, our faculties and affiliated university colleges are very proud of its world-class standing, and we know you share that pride as graduates of our undergraduate and graduate programs. Now all of you join our growing global community of Western alumni. We are all united by the Western experience, our cherished memories of our times here, particularly of the knowledge and the friendships gained Yes, even those made at the seeps, the frog, and the spoke. <laughs> You'll find that your Western experience continues as alumni, and I encourage you, sorry, I encourage you to remain purple and proud by participating actively as alumni, cultivating the strength and global reputation of our alma mater. It is now my great pleasure to invite you and your guests to attend a reception in your honor to be held in the University Community Center Mustang Lounge immediately following convocation where refreshments will be served 
and where you will receive your 2018 class pin. To you, your friends and families, enjoy and embrace the tributes that you so richly deserve today. And remember, wherever life takes you, Weston will always be home. Thank you. Before closing convocation, I wish to express my appreciation to all who have contributed to the success of the day. In particular, and on your behalf as well, I want to thank the University of Western Ontario Convocation Brass for their magnificent performance and their director, Professor James Mackay. May I request that the audience remain at their seats while the academic procession leaves the hall. Convocation is now adjourned.